welcome we are continuing with brahm rishi ved vyas path for ancient wisdom research methodology in the previous three sessions we have been through the three aspects of ancient wisdom research methodology the first aspect has been of the enlightenment enlightenment path of the creator lord brahma lord brahma a four head lord meditates within cavity of his own heart at the seat of a transcendental lord the second phase has been the about the aspect that the solar universe surya sun as a six space body and the universe solar universe as such is constituting a single integrated domain one is to go for meditation with an cavity of one's own heart where is the seat of a transcendental lord and in this process one acquires a transcendental grace the second step is that with this transcendental grace which will fulfill the consciousness base of intelligence with the transcendental values it will potentialize the intelligence to have a chase for the solar universe as a single integrated domain the third aspect has been that the solar universe surya sun as a domain as the existence phenomenon of our solar universe is to be chased in terms of a sthapatya mining rod which is a synthetic setup of the representative regular bodies of 1 to 6 space that is we have to proceed we have to process in terms of a sthapatya mining rod the first step is to have a reach from four space presided by lord brahma creator the supreme by attaining a transcendental grace by having a meditation within the cavity of a heart with it there happens to be a potentiality is fulfilled consciousness for the intelligence field and with this attainment the next step is that we have to face the existence phenomenon of our solar universe of surya is six space as an integrated single domain so entire range of existence phenomenon is to be approached as a single reservoir of values parallel to which are the vedas the knowledge vedic knowledge then the third step is that we have to chase this existence phenomenon of our solar universe this reservoir of values in terms of is sthapatya mining rod the synthetic setup of representative regular bodies of 1 to 6 space one may have a pause here and take note that vedic systems are comprehending and exploring the potentialities of reality of of our solar universe being a reality of the range of 1 to 6 spaces at present we are approaching reality simply as a three space a physical matter a space framed with a triple linear axis and the content with which we are experimenting for exploration of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe is designated as a physical matter so the present day approach is essentially limited to and restricted by the conditioning of a space as a space with a triple linear dimensions and the representative regular body is a cube which is being chased as 
a manifestation of a physical content, a physical matter. Vedic systems are not stopping here. Vedic systems approach one, two and three spaces as Triloki, a space within which there is a sequential progression range of triple spaces. The first axis is leading to one space. This pair of axes lead to the second space and all the three dimensions lead to the third space. Therefore, the physical world as is of the triple spaces is in fact is the existence phenomenon of triple spaces within three space itself. Therefore, the Vedic systems are overcoming the limitations of a linear order by approaching one space means interval, two space as a square and three space as a cube as hypercubes one, two and three and all the three spaces are manifesting within three space itself. So it is manifestation within the manifested world is the feature with which the Vedic systems are successfully coming out of the limitations and restrictions of our physical world of triple linear dimensions frame. Vedic systems go ahead by starting with four space as a creator's space. It is going to be a spatial order space. Quadruple spatial dimensions are playing the role of a dimensional frame. Lord Brahma is the overlord of a four space. Lord Brahma is a four head lord and each head is equipped with a pair of eyes. This setup of the idol of Lord Brahma is the manifestations of hypercube 4, the representative regular body of a four space. How to have a transition from four space to five space is being solved by the technique of a meditation with a cavity of one's of heart as five space is playing the role of origin of a four space. Therefore, it is within the cavity of the heart that there is a transcendental seat, seat of Lord Shiva, the transcendental Lord, a five space Lord. Therefore, by having a meditation at the origin, that means by having a concentration upon the setup of the origin of a four space and by having the transcendence from the origin means transcendence of a solid order from the origin of a four space. So essentially three space is as a domain is permitting us to have a chase of this domain in terms of interval square and a cube in terms of one space two space and three space bodies simultaneously parallel to the manifestations of a single dimension pair of dimensions and triple dimension setup now when we reach four space and we want to have a transition from the setup of a four space to five space then this solid body hypercube 3 as such is approached in the role of a dimension therefore three space as domain to three space as dimension is the transition which is availed and is worked out and becomes available to the sadhakas meditating within the cavity of one's own heart where is a seat of a transcendental lord therefore by this technique of a meditation within cavity of one's heart parallel to it it is going to be the phenomenon geometric phenomenon of a reach from the three space as a domain to three space in the role of a dimension at the seat of the origin of a four space it is this technique which helps us to have a transition from four space as a domain 
to four space in the role of a creative boundary. Therefore, initially with three space as a domain, we reach that three space as a dimension. As a process, we reach at from four space as a domain to four space as a boundary. It is the first phase and stage of the meditation path of creator himself. The second phase has been that when we have reached from four space to five space with four space as a creative boundary of five space, then the four space which is set off from the boundary amounts to creating a creative window at the boundary of the transcendental domain, a five space. It is from this creative window at the boundary of four space that the six space flows in. As we know that four space is playing the role of dimension of a six space. Let us have a pause. Three space playing the role of dimension of a five space. Five space is playing the role of an origin of a four space. With the transcendence at the origin of a four space, four space transits in the role of a creative boundary. Now four space with its strip off from the creative boundary of five space is manifesting the outer world as a six space. Now this six space content flows within the five space domain through this creative window. Now six space domain content is flowing within the five space domain that means six space enters here within the transcendental domain as the origin of a five space. These features are the features of the attainment of the sadhkas by following the enlightenment path of the creator. The enlightenment path of the creator is that one shall sit comfortably and meditate within the cavity of one's own heart. Within the cavity of heart is a transcendental seat, seat of the transcendental Lord, Lord Shiva, the presiding deity of a real five space. So within four space, within heart, at the cavity is the transcendental seat. This transcendental seat, in fact, is the transcendental lock at the heart or it is a transcendental lock at the origin of a four space. It is this transcendental lock, it is this transcendental seat which is to be broken or one is to transcend through this transcendental seat of the heart or transcendental seat at the origin of the creator space, a four space. So five space initially here within four space is playing the role of a transcendental seal. It is this transcendental seal which is to be broken and for it the process is that one is to meditate upon it. That means the five space which is initially at a zero value within four space playing the role of an origin, a dual role firstly as an element, a point of a four space and secondly as a point of a five space. Now the five space content is of a solid order while four space content is of a spatial order. Now this higher order three space content as solid order and two space content as the domain part, spatial order of a four space. Now with the transcendence process this higher dimensional order gets superimposed upon the lower dimensional order. It is this phenomenon which amounts to that the five space itself gets enveloped by a creative boundary. See, we are within four space. In four space there is a transcendental seal at the origin and it is a seat of a five space. Now within four space, five space is enveloped by a four space content. 
so this five space enveloped by enveloped within a creative content a four space content it creates a cosmic cavity it is this cosmic cavity within four space which is the cavity within the heart of the sadhgas so we the human beings are of purusha format we are of six space cut so this six space content as we are having a one head with a pair of eyes lord brahma is a, head, a four head lord four spaces play the role of dimension of a six space therefore this phenomenon as it is ultimately being chased by the vedic systems in terms of a sthapatya mairing rod sthapatya mairing rod is a synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to 6 the representative regular bodies of 1 to 6 space now within human frame within a purusha which is a setup of a shad chakras the purusha the human frame is a setup of a shad chakras so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 circuits the eternal circuits of human frame are of 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 external characteristics these 2 4 6 8 10 characteristic are parallel to the domain boundary ratio a raised to power n is to 2n b raised to power n minus 1 for n is equal to 1 to 6 so the hypercubes 1 to 6 are accepting domain boundary ratio in the formulation a raised to power n is to 2 and b raised to power n minus 1 and therefore with n is equal to 1 we get 2 as a boundary component with the 2 we have got 4 and like that at hypercube 6 we are getting 12 components therefore the eternal circuits range of 6 eternal circuits shad chakras of human body as it is or have external characteristics 2 4 6 8 and 12 which are parallel to the boundary components of hypercubes 1 to 6 therefore the first three ancient wisdom research methodology steps are taking us to a format of a sthapatya mairing rod with four space at the starting point as a format of our heart we meditate within the cavity of a heart there is thereby happening a transcendental grace in terms of this transcendental grace four space transits from the role of four space as a domain to role of four space as a boundary as a result there happens to be a creative boundary role for four space as boundary of 10 components of transcendental domain of five space now four space at the boundary as such with its strip off is dimensionalizing the outer space as a six space of a creative dimensional order now the cosmic window created at the boundary of a transcendental domain as such makes a gateway for inflow of a six space content the six space content flows within five space domain through the creative boundary at the boundary of a five space domain now six space content flowing within five space domain as such manifests as in the role of six space as origin of five space therefore the enlightenment path to the potentialities for the consciousness base a transcendental potentialities for the consciousness base of intelligence having been attained in the process will 
help us go for chase of the organization of the Vedic knowledge parallel to the existence phenomenon of our solar universe in terms of its Thapatya Mairing Rod. Today, in continuity, we are face to face with the fourth aspect. The fourth aspect is that the human frame, which is of Shad Chakras, with external characteristics as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 parallel to the boundary components of the Sthapatya Mairing Rod is in a position to take us to the boundary of Hypercube 6. It means that we will having 5 space in the role of a transcendental boundary of six space. The transcendental boundary component when strips off then it will be creating a transcendental window. It is this transcendental window created at the transcendental boundary of six space will permit a flow for seven space content. This seven space content flow from the transcendental boundary within six space will manifest the origin. So the origin of six space is seven space. Therefore the pole star which is at a seven space range point. So from Surya, from Sun, from six space setup when we will be transcending ahead we will be reaching at seven space seat which is of a pole star. The transcendental boundary of six space A raised to power six is to twelve B raised to power five. The six space body is enveloped within a transcendental boundary of twelve components. When one of the transcendental boundary component of six space strips off, it creates a transcendental window at the transcendental boundary of six space. The five space boundary component, when strips off, then it dimensionalizes the outer space as a seven space. From this transcendental window, there becomes a flow of seven space content within six space domain. This seven space content flow through the transcendental window within six space domain manifests at the origin seat of a six space. Let us have a pause. Let us revisit this phenomenon. The phenomenon is that six space is enveloped within a transcendental boundary of 12 components. Five space is playing the role of a boundary of six space. Now when the one of the components of the transcendental boundary strips off in the outer space then the outer space gets dimensionalized as a seven space with five space in the role of a dimension. The five space component with its strip off is creating a transcendental window. Through this transcendental window is flows in a seven space content. This seven space content from the outer space flows within six space and it at the seat of the origin of six space manifests and thereby there happens seven space in the role of an origin of a six space. Now let us further have a pause. Seven six space is a space with Surya as its body. Seven space is of the format for the pole star and seven space pole star is a representative body of a seven space. 
so sun surya is a six space body pole star is a seven space body six space is enveloped within a transcendental boundary of 12 components five space creates transcendental boundary for six space five space itself is also playing the role of a transcendental dimension of seven space it is here where we have to be face to face with the phenomenon of vyakta avyakta avyakto vyakta and purusha vyakta is a three space format with four spaces origin avyakta is a four space format with five spaces origin avyakto vyakta is a five space phenomenon with six space in the role of an origin and purusha is a six space phenomenon with seven space in the role of an origin therefore the fourth phase of research methodology of the ancient wisdom of the brahma rishi ved vyas path is a phase and stage for having a reach from six space means surya to seven space means the pole star therefore the research domain the research area the explorative area for us emerges to be the existence range within frames we the human beings are existing within human frame this existence within human frame is the existence of six space as it is framed so six space as framed as a shad chakras formed parallel to the boundary components characteristics of sthapatya meaning rod now this is the phenomenon we have to chase we have to explore we have to be face to face with as to how big is the existence range of this existence phenomenon within human frame therefore the fourth phase of research methodology of the ancient wisdom along brahma rishi ved vyas path is in fact the real challenging aspect it is the aspect from where in terms of which and for exploration of the same we sadhgas are having our urge and it is for this urge satisfaction that we have to go for the research the ancient wisdom research for us as sadhgas existing within human frame we the human beings are having an urge to know as to what are the values and features of our existence phenomenon the existence of phenomenon the human life existence phenomenon as it is is becoming the real research domain for us the ancient wisdom research domain is the domain of the existence within frames we have to reach at the life span of the life existence within human frame therefore it is the life span of the individuals which is the real subject matter of exploration therefore the sadhgas fulfilled with intensity of urge to go for the ancient wisdom research they have to accept first of all as that we are existing within frame the our existence frame is a purusha format this purusha format is a shad chakras format these shad chakras are six eternal circuits 
these six eternal circuits as these are of external characteristics of the range 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. This values range 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 is parallel to the boundary components of hypercubes 1 to 6. Therefore, the existence of phenomenon within human frame as it is of the features of the boundary format of the Sthapatya Mairing rod. Therefore, the Purusha format for its existence phenomenon is to be chased along the boundary synthetic setup of the boundaries of hypercubes 1 to 6. Therefore, this chase is to be a chase along the boundary format of a Sthapatya Mairing rod. Therefore, we have to sequentially chase firstly by being at the boundary of hypercube 1 from there we have to reach the boundary of hypercube 2 then to boundary of hypercube 3 hypercube 4 hypercube 5 and hypercube 6 now we see the boundary of hypercube n is creating a domain boundary ratio as a raised to power n is to 2 and b raised to power n plus 1. So when we will be at the sixth chakra, the sixth eternal circuit, then this sixth chakra is going to be of 12 components. Now here the sixth chakra is a of the format of the six space content. Now, six space content is manifesting as a six space domain. Now, this six space domain is enveloped within a transcendental boundary of 12 components. Means five space is playing the role of a boundary of six space. Therefore, the shirt sixth chakra is enveloped within a five space content. So, Akash Tattva, as it is enveloping, the sixth chakra. This Akash Tattva, this fifth element, this five space domain is of 12 components. Now these 12 components when permit a strip off then there happens to be a transcendental boundary, a transcendental window at the boundary. Now from this transcendental window there happens to be inflow of the seven space content as five space with its strip off from the boundary of six space dimensionalizes the outer space as seven space means it goes to be of the format of a pole star. Now pole star as it is a seven space body. It is here where we have to have a pause and have to chase as to how we reach from the six space content to a seven space content or how the seven space content with this inflow from the transcendental boundary within six space manifests the origin seat of seven space. It is here where the ancient wisdom Vedic explorations provides us the enlightenment as that the seven space content is a black matter. It is the Krishna, it is the black matter which flows within six space. And six space content is Swet Prakash. Therefore, the reach is going to be from the black matter to the light or other way around from light to the black matter. We may have a pause here and see that when we are having a chandas 
means the meters of 26 value and when we will have values range from 1 to 26 and from here when we will reach the English alphabet of 26 letters and when we will be having a formulation light we will be see it is giving us value 56 and it gives us a summation value 27 plus 29 and it gives us half black. How is it that we have to approach transition for a reach from 6 space content to a 7 space content? It is here from where there is going to be a beginning of the chase of this domain. The chase of the existence range within frames as such gives us a beginning with the Surya and reaches to be up till the pole star. It is to be reached from value 6 to value 7, going to be from hypercube 6 to hypercube 7. It is going to be from light to a black matter or it is going to be how the black matter transits and transforms into a light or a light transits and transforms into a black matter. We have seen in the previous sessions as that the artifices of the values of numbers and dimensional frames of geometric formats get unified and as a result there emerges a unified format for the sound frequencies which transit and transform into light frequencies. So with a reach at the format of transition and transformation for from light to the black matter from the artifices of numbers and dimensional frames of the geometric formats in a unified format for carrying the frequencies of a sound for their transition and transformation into the frequencies of a light. This is the reach which we had up till the previous stage. Here in continuity we have to proceed a step ahead and it is going to be of the format features and values as to how the light itself splits, explodes as band of seven colors. So from the sound frequencies to light frequencies and ahead the transition and transformation in terms of the explosion of the light into the colors. It is here this rung formulation, tooth rung formulation that we have to reach at the black matter. So this phase of chase of existence range within human frame is going to be of the format features and values which will take us from light to a black matter. And this is going to be in terms of an explosion of the light into the band of seven colors. And it is this band of the colors which will be enveloping the black matter. How the black matter gets enveloped within the bands of the colors is the format in terms of which is the mathematics in terms of which is the sciences in terms of which yeah, which will provide us the technologies to explore the existence range of within frames. And this existence range within the frames is going to be of 120 year cycle. Therefore, the human existence normal range is going to be of 120 years, which is going to be parallel to the 120 elements periodic table settled by the Vedic systems. From this point, we will continue our chase further in the next session. Thank you very much.